and welcome to another Mario Party 6 minigame review. Today we're reviewing the free for all minigame Cannonball Fun. Do you think this one was a lot of fun? It was somewhat fun, but it definitely had its fair share of issues, I would say. Agreed. This one kind of reminded me of Shell Shock from Mario Party 2, in the sense that there's obstacles and you're just trying to hit the other players with a cannonball. Yeah, it did. The controls are a little bit different because you can strafe left and right. But to be honest, I really didn't use that all that often. I would just fly around like normal and hit people. What I didn't like was the fact that you had a cannon on each side of your ship and they would both shoot. They would switch back and forth from left to right on which one would shoot. But you don't really have the time to remember which cannon is going to shoot next when you're in the thick of the action. Yeah, I could never remember which cannon was going to go off next. And that makes it really hard to line yourself up to hit someone, because you might be a little off and then you might not hit them. Yeah, you're always going to be off center, and since you usually don't know which cannon is going to shoot next, you just kind of have to shoot a bunch and hope that one of them hits the other person. And if someone gets hit, they're stunned for a second, and then you have to wait before you can hit them again. That makes sense, except then you're kind of in a sitting duck position where you're just waiting until you can hit that person. And for some reason in this one, everyone always clombs together, so it's really hard to line up and hit someone. Yeah, I really wish you had only one cannon in the center of your ship. That way, you always knew that you were going to hit straight ahead. I mean, I guess you could argue that having two cannons on either side of you does add a little bit of strategy to this, but it's not really done in a fun way, I think. In a minigame like this, I just want to go shoot people. Yeah, I think this one's a little too fast-paced to really take the time to strategize like the controls are set up to do. But it's not like the minigame is horrible all around. I think the two cannon setup is definitely a drawback, but it's still fun to go around and shoot people. Yeah, it did have its fun moments, and you did feel a sense of reward when you won. But overall, I don't think it's enough to make this one a great minigame. The confusing controls and cannon setup really hold this back, and I don't think you'll disagree. If they had simplified this one and just gave you one cannon in the center of your ship, I think it would have gone a long way to really upping the fun of this one. It could have been a 4 or 5 star minigame if that was the case, but because it's held back by those flaws so much, we gotta give this one 3 stars out of 5. We didn't hate it, but it's not as good as it could have been. Well that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Wow, we're 10 mini games into Mario Party 6 and no 5 star mini games yet. I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, I don't know about Mario Party 6 yet. Hopefully the good ones are still hidden away. Gosh, I hope so. Up next, we'll be reviewing Cash Flow. If you want to see if this has potential to be a 5 star mini game, come back to watch it. Hope, hope to, to see, see you then. then.